ladies and drones to bees, beers, and a beard. Um, today I'm inspecting my AP May hives. I just finished going through uh, and doing an alcohol wash on this one. There was one mite, um, so I'll need to treat soon. Uh, one mite in August is different from one mite at the end of May. Um, so that needs to be treated uh, before too long. Otherwise those numbers are gonna go right up. So I'm gonna start by smoking the front. And smoke under here. And the reason I want to uh, replace the queens in here, because these hives are very quick um, to anger. Very hot compared to my other hives. Nothing in the honey super yet, but they are making use of the extra space. So I'm glad I put these on here. I don't see any nectar yet. These frames uh, need to be built out. So what I'm going to do is uh, spray the empty space just with some 1-1 one -one sugar water. See them all. Their big eyes on there. I'm keeping an eye out for queen cells that are being used. This one's empty. Just get rid of it. Plug from manufacturing sticking out. It's like Burke home. Trying to remove it, and so I don't end up with skeleton in the frame. I'm meaning to fix this for a while. It's the other side too. Hopefully that doesn't cause me any more headaches. Bunch of empty queen cells. Nothing to worry about just yet. Still haven't seen any eggs. There are, is cat brood, but I'm still looking for eggs and larvae. Clean up the bottom of this frame. See some eggs now. Keeping an eye out for the queen. It's a good frame to test, but I don't want to 
do an alcohol wash if I can't find the queen. There she is, right there. There's yeah, a good, uh, good reason why you don't just shake. Is right there. This is a good frame to check. There's some large larvae. Look at that pattern on there. That's pretty cool. You have stuff that's about to emerge. Then you have young eggs, uh, some eggs larvae, uh, and then you have newly capped here. So she's basically just been moving back and forth across this frame. Pretty cool pattern there. All right, so I'm gonna test this frame. Lots of these on that one. We'll shake it, the uh, foragers will fly off, leaving um, more of the nurse bees, which are more likely to have mites. A lot of drones in here, too. Get my half a cup of bees in the shake, get a quick kill. The rest of these can go back. And uh, I like the way everything's set up in here. Uh, I'll give them just a little bit of pollen patty in case they need it. Um, none of the brood was looking dry or anything, but if they need it, they have it. good. Um, I'll close this up and I will check the, uh, the mite check just as I did with the other hive. Fill this cup up and shake it. And uh, so I gave them a little bit of pollen patty. I opened the entrance up a little bit more and I also opened the uh, one of the top entrances um, because these, these are strong enough hives, they can keep themselves warm, defend themselves. So I wasn't too concerned. I don't want to open it up all the way just yet. The nights still get cold. Um, so uh, I don't want to let out all their heat. Uh, I'm looking forward to replacing these queens. Um, these bees are much hotter than my others. But once I replace the queens in about a week, it won't be until about six weeks after that though that I start noticing any difference uh, as the new genetics uh, start to take over. Uh, hopefully by then I'll get some calmer bees, make for a much more enjoyable um, beekeeping experience. Right now, I'm a little nervous sometimes when I go into these. Uh, my other hives, I won't bother with gloves. These I will not go in without. So there's a difference right there. I'll hold this up to the sky. Look at the bottom, and I don't see any mites here. I see a wax platelet. So that's that. Uh, two strong hives. I like the APMA. They seem to be the strongest hives that I have so far. Uh, unfortunately, I also have the uh, hottest bees in here too. But uh, 
hopefully we can fix that real soon. Until then, stay uh, healthy, stay safe, and uh, see you next week.